ending the moment. Now this didn't work out last time, Blake. Takes a leap of faith with a cross body and connects, and Palmer prevails in victory. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Tonight. Let's talk about it, man. Level Up had a very exciting uh, women's match here with Danny Palmer. Fan favorite Danny Palmer against Izzy Dane. And uh, this was like one of the more interesting matches they had all year on Level Up. You had this newbie, Izzy Dane, with a lot of potential to be... I, I, I tell you, she's... Tiffany Stratton 2.020T, bro. You know... She is definitely Tiffany Stratton, bro. I I I I I I looked at her more like Tiffany Stratton more than anything. I was like, dude, she's another Tiffany Stratton on the come up, man. So when Tiffany Stratton hits the main roster, they're not gonna lose much because this girl looks pretty impressive. But her background is different than Tiffany. Tiffany had a gymnastics background. She had a, a college volleyball or whatever volleyball background. Um, I think it was beach volleyball. If I'm not mistaken, and she actually was overseas in Europe playing the sport so she's had some interesting experience in life and she's only 24 so you know a lot of potential for her she's a really good athlete really good athlete I, I could tell that that's why I said she's got a chance to be the next Tiffany Stratton for sure and uh Danny Palmer we know she's a good athlete daredevil Danny Palmer I always enjoy watching her matches she's one of my favorites the NXT to watch right now in the ring she does a lot of uh daredevil moves and stuff like that a lot of high high flying stuff she's really good man just so damn athletic man and quick around the ring uh you'll never get i'll tell you this you'll never get bored watching a danny palmer match so before the match izzy dan actually talked about that she's this friend who will tell you the truth and won't beat around the bush and she says about people who really uh they respect her but probably don't want to be around her <laughs> And I think she grew up with a family of like seven siblings or something like that. I was like, damn. Yeah, you you definitely grew up probably competitive. You know, usually when you're in a huge family, you got to compete for your, your parents' attention, man. So, I know she was definitely, uh, I know she's definitely a competitor. So, definitely interesting matchup. But I'll tell you what, I was definitely impressed with Izzy Dane. We already know how good Danny Palmer is. This is definitely probably one of the best TV matches. I don't care if it was on the main NXT program or Level Up all year. These two really had a good fucking match in there, bro. It went back and forth. Really good stuff, man. And Izzy Dame did not look weak in this at all. So let me go over how this went, man. So like I said, Dame making her Level Up debut. And before we get into it real quick, she definitely has a heel persona. So she's definitely starting in as a heel. And I thought about that, too. I was like... I remember as on fire, it was like, is she a heel? Because, like, she just looks like a heel, bro. Like, she looks like a heel. And uh, her persona is a heel. So, let's get into it. Uh, she used her strength early to take Palmer down to the mat. And, and the thing is, she's really tall. Like, there was a noticeable size difference between her and Danny Palmer. So, Danny Palmer had to use, kind of go low throughout the match to try to get an advantage. Palmer rallied and applied a side headlock wearing down Dame. Dame sent Palmer into the turnbuckle and drove Palmer into the canvas for a one count. Dame hit a clothesline for another one count as the audience tried to rally Palmer uh, back into the match because, uh, you know, Izzy Dame was handling her pretty good at this point. Dame looked for a suplex, but uh, Palmer avoided but was hit by a clothesline in response. Palmer hit a reverse elbow and used a brief window of offense to climb the rope. It hit a diving crossbody on Dame for the victory. So that was all she wrote for Diz Izzy Dame in her debut match. She loses to Danny Palmer in uh, almost five minutes. It was four minutes and a half. So good win for Danny Palmer. Danny, I, I, I went into this match and I was like, dude, Danny Palmer cannot lose this match, bro. Like, Danny, you cannot lose this match, bro. You got to win this match against a rookie, bro. A, a, a real rookie. Like, they're both rookies, but this is Izzy Day, literally her first match. But it is, she didn't look like a rookie in that ring. <laughs> Let's go into the poll and see how y'all voted, because I did do a poll on this. Nice little turnout, 574 votes, uh, 44 likes. Uh, both of y'all went with Danny Palmer, 67%. But Izzy Dane with 33%. Y'all gave Izzy Dave some real respect. Before y'all even saw her in the ring, y'all gave her some real respect. Izzy Dane. 
Okay, I see, I see y'all in my, in my, in my, in my audience, man. I see y'all. I see y'all, Izzy Dane. I see y'all, Izzy Dane. Okay, okay. I see you, Izzy Dane. I see you. I see you, Izzy Dane. Thirty-three percent. If y'all know in my polls, anything around forty percent, that's like fifty-fifty in my polls. Cause usually my polls be so lopsided. So for her to be that close to forty percent of her debut. Man, that's amazing. She almost, like, it looked like she was going to win the match, too. That was the crazy thing about Izzy Dane, man. I, I'm definitely liking her. I'm definitely liking Izzy Dane. I'm on the Izzy Dane bandwagon. That's for damn sure. But uh, y'all know Danny Palmer, one of my favorites, though. So I'm glad to see Danny Palmer. I think Danny Palmer needed to win more than her. And I just want to say this about Danny Palmer before I close out this video. Danny Palmer... Should be in a tag team. She should be in a tag team division. I still think she should be with Kalani Jordan. I liked how those two were meshing in the ring. Um, I know the Kalani's with Dana right now, but Danny Palmer and Kalani Jordan will be heat. Because Danny Palmer still got a wait a while for Saul Ruka to come back. I think the ultimate plan was for her and Saul Ruka to become tag team, a ta uh, dominant tag team force. But... She's got to wait until at least next year. I don't. I don't think Saul Ruka's coming back until like the spring of next year, man. So, um, we'll see if she comes back a little earlier than that. But you know, usually ACL injuries is like a whole year. She probably gonna injure the other one. You know how they go with ACLs, man. So, man, it's unfortunate with uh, Saul Ruka, man. I hate. I hate what happened to her, man. But maybe they could find someone else. Who got skills like a, a Kalani Jordan or a Saul Ruka to put with Danny Palmer? Because I think Danny Palmer ultimately need to be in that tag team division. And as for Izzy Dane, I will say this, man. Like, if Tiffany Stratton is still going to be an NXT after Great American Bash, like if she's not coming up to the main roster to join Trish Stratus and Zoe Stark, I would probably have Tiffany Stratton in a little faction with Izzy Dame and maybe Brooklyn Barlow or something. Or if she is gone, maybe put Izzy Dame and Brooklyn Barlow together. Maybe in Core, uh, Core J faction or something like that. Dog, that'd be heat. That'd be heat. That'd be heat. That'd be heat, man. But give me y'all thoughts on this, man. Uh, I love the match, man. Hopefully I can get this video out by Tuesday at the latest. I'm recording this on a Sunday night, so I'm trying to see if I can put it up tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to take a day off, man, from uploading, man. I haven't had a day off in a long time from uploading, so, uh, and rendering and editing and all that other stuff. So, I'm going to just chill out today. I just wanted to make sure I make this video, record the audio while I had a chance. So, I'm going ahead and give me your thoughts on this match, man, and on Danny Palmer and, and Izzy Dang. Was you impressed with Izzy Dang? Let me know. Uh, if you got any ideas for how they both should be booked, definitely put them down in the comment section below. Go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.